Well, a couple of things to bring you up to speed on here. First, those trade talks. We saw those reports from Dow Jones and others that said that the U.S. administration had reached out to the Chinese to potentially set up a new round of trade talks, uh, the idea being that uh, possibly that could stall this $200 billion in Chinese tariffs that's been expected this week. Uh, the White House not commenting on the record uh, on those reports at this time. So we'll bring you up to speed as soon as they do say something about whether or not Steve Mnuchin, the Treasury Secretary, is going to Beijing or not. Uh, Meanwhile, some good economic news today from the Census Department. Take a look at some of these stats here that Census put out today, saying that medium income is up 1.8% in 2017. Medium income hit $61,400 in 2017, and the poverty rate at 12.3% in 2017 versus 12.7% in 2016. So that uh, all good news on the economy front. The administration uh, has been pointing out uh, that the economy is doing very, very well under this president. Uh, one other thing to update you on, Bill, is that the president, uh, we are told, we didn't see this on camera, but we are told the president signed an executive order today that would put in place a process for the U.S. intelligence community to evaluate whether or not any foreign entity or person has interfered in the U.S. elections. And then if that uh, is done, then it kicks into, pr into place an automatic review process by the administration for imposing sanctions on whoever that might be. Officials here saying it's very important to demonstrate that the president is taking charge of this election interference issue ahead of these midterm elections, saying this is a very important priority for the president. So it sets up this automatic intelligence review, which is 45 days after the election, and then an automatic review. If they find there was interference in the election, including things as basic as propaganda, then another 45 days for the administration to review whether or not to impose automatic sanctions at that point.